Welcome to the Fiber Shop tutorial series. This is the chapter 4, which we learn about the most important part of the Fiber Shop modifiers. Modifiers are responsible for generating fibers, forming them, and grouping them. Everything you need to design a hair block lies in modifiers. You need to learn and study modifiers more than the other parts. If you master the modifiers, you can create any kind of hairs in Fiber Shop. For now, we only have 5 modifiers in Fiber Shop. Before learning what each modifier does, you need to learn how to work with modifiers. To add a modifier, simply click on Add Modifier button and pick one of the modifiers. To remove a modifier, right click on the modifier and select Delete. You need to have at least one scatter modifier per block. Due to this term, main scatter modifier cannot be deleted. To move a modifier, click on the tree line area and drag your mouse to move the modifier along the modifier list. To close a modifier, simply click on the middle of the modifier title bar. To open it again, do the same and it expands. To clone a modifier, right click on the modifier and select Duplicate. You can copy and paste modifiers and their values as well. To copy a modifier, right click on the modifier and select Copy Modifier. Then right click on a modifier which you want to paste copy it one after and click on Paste Modifier. Be careful because if you copy a modifier and delete it, you can't paste it anymore. If you want to copy and paste the values of the modifier without creating new one, simply use copy values and paste values instead. Copying and pasting values can be used between deleted modifiers. We have three types of modifiers in Fibershop. Generators, deformers and groupers. Scatter modifier is responsible for generating hay fibers. You can have multiply hair scatters to define short, long, deep and thin fibers in a single block. Each scatter contains its own deformers. Width parameter defines the width of the generated fibers and depth parameter defines how long fibers must be generated in 3D space. Let's take a look in 3D viewport. By using width and depth density parameters, we can set how many fibers must be generated in the defined distance. Also, you can randomize them using these two parameters. Length parameter defines how long generated fibers must be, and you can randomize it and give it variance using this parameter. Also, you can use curves to control the length of the hairs from left to right. Root slope parameter defines how much fibers must be shifted up and down based on the depth. Let's take a look in 3D viewport for better understanding. Next parameter does the same but instead of depth it just randomizes position of hairs in vertical space. Reduction parameter helps you to reduce the number of fibers by a percent. It can be randomized using reduction seat parameter. Thickness parameter defines how thick must fibers be. You can change the thickness from root to the tip using thickness curve. Segment parameter defines the quality and resolution of the generated fibers. If you want to have a smoother form for fibers, you need to increase the fiber segments. Translate parameters are useful when you have multiply scatter modifiers. You can move the generated fibers in hair block space. In Fiber Shop, you can also create hand drawn hairs using hand draw mode and scatter modifier. To draw hair guidelines, simply turn on hand draw mode in the scatter modifier, then click on draw button and start drawing by click and dragging your mouse. You can set the brush size using brush width and height parameters. 
Also, you can define how much strands need to be contained in each hair guide. It's useful to draw some flyaway hair strands. Last parameter defines the power of hair guide smoothing. You can simply draw and let the software smooth it for you. By pushing AX on keyboard, you can delete the last drawn hair guide. To hide and unhide hair guides, go and hide and hide tab. To hide hair guides, draw on them using the brush. If you hold Ctrl key down, you can unhide them back. You can delete all hidden hair guides using this button. All the deformer and grouping modifiers can be applied to hand drawn fibers as well. By activating hand drawn mode, the scatter modifier gets some chains and parameters. Clump and strength defines the power of fiber clumping. By using a strength by length parameter, you can lower the clump pressure on the shorter drowned hairs so it looks more natural. Also, you can use curve to set the power of clumping from root to the tip. Bend modifier is a deformer modifier which lets you to bend the fibers to give it a natural feeling of reverse gravity. The strength parameter defines the power of bending and it can be randomized using the next parameter. Also, you can set the bending and strength from the root to the tip using this curve. Angle parameter changes the angle of bending in 3D space. You can randomize it using the next parameter. It is very important parameter in terms of realistic hair modeling. Start and end parameters define the region of bending force from root to tip. Also, you can mask the fibers from bending force using mask left and mask right parameters. By using mask curve, you can do the same but with a smooth A's. Seed parameter will change the chance of randomization in randomizer parameters. By clicking on this icon, it picks a random number by itself. Remember this, masking parameters and seed parameter is same along all the modifiers. Curl modifier is a deformer modifier which lets you to curl the fibers to give it a natural feeling of curling. You can set the curl power by setting the scale parameter and randomize it using the next parameter. Also, you can set the curl power from root to tip using this curve. Length parameter defines how much curls must be performed from the root to the tip. It can be randomized using the next parameter and can be set specifically for the tip and the root using this curve editor. Shift parameter lets you to shift the curl pattern along the fibers. It can be randomized using the next parameter. Noise modifier is a deformer modifier which lets you to add noise to the fibers. A strength parameter defines the power of noise and it can be randomized using next parameter. Also, you can set the noise strength from the root to the tip using this curve. Shift parameter lets you to shift the noise pattern along the fibers. It can be randomized using the next parameter. Clump modifier is a grouper modifier which lets you to clump hair strands and group them. A clump modifier is a little bit different than the others. To simplify the understanding of how clump modifier works, imagine there are some hidden hair strands. They can be just deformed using the former modifiers, but they doesn't render any strands, but instead they attract the real fibers around them and gather them at a certain points. 
So a clone modifier can contain any kind of deformer modifiers and it applies the shape to clump with the strands as well. A clump modifier is very similar to a scatter modifier. The parameters in this block do the exact thing they do in a scatter modifier, so I avoid explaining them again. Note, translate parameters in clump move the hidden curves in the 2D space. A strength parameter defines the power of clumping attraction and it can be randomized using the next parameter. Also, you can set the attraction power from the root to the tip using this curve. Flyaway parameter lets you to make some hair strands escape from the clumping. It's useful to add a realistic effect to hair grouping because in real life, if you clump your hair using your hand, some of them doesn't come in your hand. We learned about the important parameters of the modifiers, but in terms of keeping videos short and focused, we skipped some of them. To see the description of missing parameters, visit our online documentation. Sorting and order and modify panel is very important because it makes different results. You need to know how this ordering works. Modifiers are calculated from top to the bottom. If you place a deformer before and after a clump modifier, results become very different. So, you need to pay attention to the ordering. Every parameter in modifiers has limitation and a specific range. But we don't like limitations, right? So let me tell you one cool thing about fiber shop modifiers. There is no limitation. We limited each parameter to a standard range. But if it didn't work for you, you can simply extend the range by typing larger value in the value input. And magic happens. For example, let's create a simple curly hair. You may want to have many, many curls on the hair strands. So just head to the curl length parameter and increase it as much as you want. You can do the same for a scatter width or any other parameter you want. Again, there is no real limit of what you can do. See you in the next chapter.